Ken Stephen was last seen around half past two on Monday afternoon, before he parked at the start of the Platterclip Gorge route up Table Mountain. He was dressed for a walk, not a run. That night, police picked up a signal from his mobile phone on the other side of the mountain at Nettleton Road. Stephen was known in the running community, and hundreds of volunteers arrived on Wednesday morning to assist with the search operation. We've got a very large-scale operation. I would say it's probably the most number of personnel that we've ever used in the history of mountain rescue in this country. Um, we have between, well, we've got over 52, 53 teams um, working in various parts of the mountain, and uh, that's in excess that's between 400 and 500 people. Um, so there's people from various organizations, um, from Wilderness Search and Rescue, we've got working on fire here, we've got um, a vast number of people from the trail running community, because obviously um, the missing guy is a trail runner and it's a big community, and these guys do know the mountain quite well. Every nook and cranny of Table Mountain was searched. We've also got the uh, Red Cross Air Mercy Services helicopter that is um, on scene, that is assisting with deploying searches into uh, various uh, hard to reach areas in order to save time and they'll also be assisting with conducting an aerial search in some of the regions that are very very hard if not impossible to reach. Stevens friends and family had hoped for a miracle. A body matching Ken Stevens description was spotted from the helicopter at half past two the afternoon. His father, who had been waiting at the search operation center since his son went missing, was devastated. Stephen was found along the Africa Face Cliff, on the left of the Upper Cableway Station. He was declared dead on the scene. There are no running routes in that area. Nadine Tehran, Cape Town.